All right, let's replace this green screen quickly and easily using After Effects. So let's take this clip with the green screen TV and our subject in the foreground and we'll superimpose content onto the screen. I'll superimpose this baseball clip. So I'll drag this clip into my comp, resize it roughly for now, and I'll hide it for now. Now I'll add the key light effect to my main layer and under screen color, I'll select the green. Now under view, I'll pick screen matte. And you can see it has a little bit of glare, which is okay for a TV. So I wanna leave that there for more of a realistic look. So I'll adjust the clip black a little bit. That's good. Take a look at my final result and I'll tweak the clip white a little bit. And I'll change it back to final result. Okay, so now I'll reveal my baseball game clip and I'll move it to the bottom layer. So it's underneath the key. Scale it up a bit. Okay, so when I play it, as you can see, there's a little bit of camera movement here that we have to track. So I'll use the motion tracker for this. So I'll navigate to the tracker panel. I'll click on track motion and I'll expand my track point and move it to the corner of the screen where I know that our subject won't cross over it. So I'll analyze track forward and I'll hit edit target and make sure it's on the baseball clip. Hit okay and I'll hit apply and okay. So I'll turn back on my bottom layer and as you can see, I need to adjust the anchor point and scale a bit to fit the screen parameters. Okay, that looks really good. So now I'll add a camera lens blur to the TV clip to have it match the depth of field of the TV. All right, it's looking pretty good. So now I'll take it one step further and I'll add a bit of edge to my subject. To do this, I'll jump back to the key light effect on my subject and I'll enable edge color correction. I'll adjust the softness and brightness to simulate light coming off the TV. I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. And there you go. So using a simple key light effect and a few tweaks, some motion tracking, we can chroma key and superimpose clips into our scene flawlessly, regardless of what's in the foreground. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.